Hey there, CGA math students. Uh, so today we're going to do our last set of notes uh, before we take our quiz tomorrow on equivalency. And today's set of notes um, applies to kind of real world concepts with equivalency. Um, so let's read this. Um, you are the head of a basketball team in the NBA. Your top three best starters are injured and not available to play in your next game. It is now your task to look at the statistics provided and decide which five players you would choose to start the game. To do this, you will have to take into account the statistics of the players you have left on your team. Do you want a player who misses all their free throw points but sinks every three-pointer shot they attempt? Um, the most shots attempted on the court are worth two points and called field goals. Uh, which of your players make these shots most often? Uh, the numbers provided show the amount of shots they've made out of total shots they've attempted. So using the information on Manu, Tim, and Tony, those are our three guys that are injured, compare the star players of the San Antonio Spurs, that's our basketball team, uh, and answer the questions together as a class. All right, so we're going to do this individually, though. But it'd be awesome if we look at Tim Duncan, right? We can see his stuff in percentages. And we look at Tony Parker, oh, he's in fractions. And then Manny Ginobili, oh, he's in decimals. It'd be really great. It'd be a lot easier to compare if everything was in percents. So let's do that. Basically, let's convert Tony's from fractions to percents and Manu's from decimals to percents. So Tony Parker, uh, four-fifths. We can either use our reference sheet or we can do bottom and top, five into four, which doesn't work. So decimal, decimal, zero. Goes in there eight times. That's 40, nothing left over, so 0.8 as a percent, once, twice, gives us 80%. Okay, for the next one we can do 9 over 20. We could divide again, um, or we could just do base 10. So times 5, times 5, gives us, um, and we could have done base 10 in this one too, but I want to give you multiple ways to do it. 45 over 100, which is equal to 45%. So already we can see that Tony Parker is better at free throws than Tim Duncan. Uh, not as great at field goals, two-point shots, as Tim Duncan. Um, all right, one-third. Hopefully you've memorized one-third, but let's prove it. Three into one, decimal, decimal, zero. Three goes into ten three times. Nine, one left over, bring down another zero. Three goes into ten three times. Nine, one left over, bring down another zero. And we're just going to keep on getting 3. So 0.333 repeated. Could have used your reference sheet, obviously. But move it once, twice. And so what's his 3-point percentage? 33.3 repeated percent. So way better than Tim Duncan uh, at 0%. And we may talk about why he's at 0% a little bit. Um, so now let's just go ahead and convert Manu's numbers from decimals to percents as well. So we're going to go once, twice, and we get 85.7%. We go once, twice, and we get 44.8%. And we go once, twice, and we get 33.8%. So now we can compare all these statistics, right? We know that Manu is the best free throw shooter. He's 85 compared to 80 and 71. Uh, Tim Duncan is the best two-point shooter, right? 49.5 compared to 45 and 44.8. And then uh, Manu is the best three-point shooter just by a little bit. 33.8 is just a little bit better than 33.3 repeated. So who has the best free throw statistics? How do you know? Manu Ginobili. And give me a sentence or two on how you know. I kind of just helped you out. Um, it's basically comparing those three stats. Which player makes the most of their two-point shots? That's going to be Tim Duncan. And then give me a sentence on how you know. Um, what can you assume about players according to their three-point statistics? So here you have to have a little bit of knowledge about the NBA. So if here's the basket in the NBA, and we've got the lane and then the three-point arc, if um, guys aren't have a, have a very low shooting percentage out here, um, what does that mean about them? They probably play a lot of their time in here. So what is that? What can we assume about guys in the three-point statistics? Well, that it it's probably related to their position, right? So Tim Duncan, he's a center, power forward, right? He's not going to be a guy that plays out here and shoots all these long shots. He's tall. He's going to play inside, get a whole bunch of rebounds, 
and make easy buckets. That's probably also why his field goal percentage is way higher than, or not way higher, but definitely higher than Tony and Manu because he's shooting from here, whereas those guys are probably shooting from here and outside here, all right? So uh, now what you're gonna do is make your own dream team. So those three players, they're pretty good, but they're injured. So I'm gonna show you a roster now of the remaining players on the team, and you gotta basically pick a starting five. So using the statistics given on the following players, uh, answer the thinking questions on the next page. Analyze the statistics to decide who you want on your team. When you've decided your five players, fill out the table. We don't have this, um, but I may ask you near the end of the class to give me reasons why you chose five people and, and why. And it's got to be based on statistics, not just because you're like, oh, I like Kawhi Leonard because he's Kawhi and yada, 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 right? Um, so let's we're going to skip five here. I don't think we'll have enough time for it today, but let's show you what we have. So I have all these players now that are usually on the bench for the San Antonio Spurs, right? All these players. And here are their free throw, or free throw stats, field goal stats, and three-point stats. I'm gonna go through James and Dewan Blair. Um, so basically, what do we wanna do in order to compare this stuff? We wanna convert it all to the same unit. And I think it would make sense in basketball to convert everything to percentages. So when I have a decimal I wanna convert to percent, it's once, twice, right. So he shoots 50%. In fact, and just so you can easily compare stuff, let's put all the percentages for every box in the bottom right hand corner. That way you can just go down the row when you want to compare. Field goals are 11 out of 25. What do I do with this? I can either divide or I could use base 10 times 4 times 4 and I get 44 over 100. So what's that as a percent? It's 44 percent. And three point, he always shoots 50 percent. It's already given to us in percentage. All right, now let's do Dewan. Um, I could use base 10 for Dewan or I could divide. Let's do both methods. We'll get the same answer. So I could say times 5 times 5. Why did I do that? Because that gives me 5 over 10. So I know that that's 50%, right? Um, so I put 50% here. So he's just as good at free throws as James is. 50% is pretty low for the NBA. You're, you're making every other year probably um, <clears throat> not going to be the guy counted on to shoot free throws. So we could also divide 10 into five, doesn't work. Decimal, decimal, zero. 10 goes into five, 0. 0.5 times 50, zero. We know 0. 0.5 is the same thing as 50% once, twice. So I just showed you two different ways you could get this 50%, All right? 63% is already a percent. So at least we know Dewan is better than James at um, shooting two pointers. Um, but look at his three pointers, it's 0. 0.0. So you could just once, twice, it's just gonna be 0%. Right, um, so what do we know? We know James, not too good at free throws, solid at three pointers. However, this could be you know a small statistics. Uh, he might have only shot in like two three pointers and made one of them. Um, so we want to be careful about that. Um, Dewan, not that great at free throws, better, way better at field goals, right? Two point shots, um, and he doesn't take any. Uh, three-pointers so he might be a good candidate to replace Tim Duncan because we need to center on our team right um, and so you want to think about that going forward I'll do one more with you and then I'll let you guys do the rest on your own uh, Matt Bonner um, so he's already got we already have our per percent at 60 percent for free throws so he's the best free throw shooter thus far um, once twice he's 31.3 percent on his two-point field goal. So he's the worst thus far in making two-point shots. And then 17 out of 50, let's do times two times two, because let's just do base 10. We could divide this, but I think it'd be easier to do base 10. Uh, what does that equal? It equals 34 over 100, so that's 34%. So he's pretty solid at uh, three-point, better than Dewan, so we know he's gonna make actual, or take actual three-point shots, um, but not as good as James. All right, so for the rest here, go ahead and fill out the rest for Boris Diaw, Danny Green, Steve Jackson, Kawhi Leonard, Patty Mills, Gary Neal, and Tiago Splitter. Um, convert everything to percent so you can compare them, and then answer these three questions, and then perhaps at the end of class, I will ask guys, you know, who, which five guys do they choose and why? Remember, you need a pretty balanced team, somebody that can make free throws, somebody that can shoot three-pointers, um, and a couple of guys that can make some two-point field goals, All right? Good luck.